Hey guys, in this video, we're going to talk about how you can upgrade your April Layer Whole House Home Filter and go from, say, a MERV 11 or 13 all the way up to a MERV 16. And so you might say, well, why would you want to do that? First, let's talk real quick about, say, a MERV 11 filter. MERV 11 rated filters are pretty good. They're way better than those disposable ones that you put in your filter grills and having an April Layer filter with a MERV 11 is way better than that. It's like a disposable filter on steroids. And because it's April Layer or some sort of other four inch media filter, regardless of the brand, having that four inch thickness with what I call the ruffles, if you were to cut the ends off that filter and stretch it out, all that extra surface area, it's the surface area that really matters. It's not necessarily the MERV, but the fact that you have all that extra surface area and you can still get high MERV 11, you can actually reduce static pressure in your heating and air system. You can filter out over 90% of the particulates in the air. MERV 11 filters effectively trap pollen, dust, lint, dust mites, mold, smoke, pet dander, smog, auto emissions, bacteria, and so on. So you might be saying, well, why would I even need to upgrade from that? Well, there are a few things that a MERV 11, as tight as it is, as good as it filters, it still doesn't filter out. Some of those things would be viruses. I know viruses are a big thing now, way bigger than they used to be because of a recent pandemic. But unlike, say, a HEPA filter, where they can filter out even more, the static pressure in a lot of cases gets way too high with a HEPA filter. And so with a MERV 16 filter, you can filter out over 95% of the particles, including some viruses. I'm not mentioning any names. I'm not making any claims. I haven't done any laboratory tests. So if you're watching this, you're saying, well, I'm going to do what you told me to, Josh, because I'm going to definitely filter out the coronavirus from my home. I'm not a scientist. I'm not making any claims with this video. I'm just telling you why you might want to go from a MERV 11 up to a MERV 16. So if you are trying to filter out specific particular things in your home, you need to look more into that look into what the company's claims are, and look into maybe what the laboratory tests or clinical tests that they've done. So again, I'm not making any claims with this video. Don't be suing me. You ain't going to get much anyway. That said, April Layer in particular, they didn't pay me to do this video. I wish they would, but they haven't. But one thing that we have dealt with here recently, we install a lot of April Layer filters with our furnaces, and I think they're great. They do a lot of things in addition to keeping the air clean, but they also keep the system clean, more functional, and reduce static pressure in comparison to a lot of other filters on the market. But the reason for this video is, for the first time here recently, April Air has made it way easier. You don't have to replace the entire housing or get some fancy filter. All you have to do is when you go to replace the media in your filter, so if you have an April Air 1210, 1620, 2210, 2216, 3210, or 4200, which are all pretty common models. So instead of replacing the media with either a 210 or 213, you can now replace it with a 216. I'm gonna put a link down in the description to where you can just click it and go and purchase your own 216 filter media but you're gonna get that MERV 16, it's gonna filter the air even better, and you did not have to do any crazy configurations with ductwork or getting your heating and air professional in there. You just order the media, swap it out, and now you are filtering the air way better, including some viruses. So I hope that helps. Thanks for watching. Click that subscribe button. We'll see you next time.